Skywars is a staple of Minecraft. Anyone that's played a PvP game mode has probably seen or played Skywars at some point, and it's for sure one of the most popular minigames in all of Minecraft. Now, most of the Bedrock Edition featured servers have some form of Skywars on them. Hive has their Ore Skywars, Cubecraft has a fairly vanilla version of Skywars, Galaxite has their Rush game mode. It's safe to say that, like I said, Skywars is a pretty popular game mode. In this video, we're going to be visiting all of the featured servers that have Skywars, Wars, trying out all of them and trying to figure out which one is the best. Interested? Let's get started. Okay, so for this video, we're going to be trying out all of the featured servers that have Skywars, and on each of them, we're going to try a few games just to try and give a fair analysis across all of them. Without further ado, let's just get started with The Hive, which I think most of my audience is pretty familiar with. So, the thing about The Hive is that, like I said, it has lucky ores in it. Basically, you mine ores, and it can give you something random. Gold is probably the most random, give you basically anything in the game. But then there's also stuff like emeralds, which usually gives you pretty good stuff. And then there's diamonds, which also give you only diamond stuff. So as you'll see on the server, the level of PvP is pretty high. Quite a lot of the players on the server are relatively sentient. They'll actually fight back for the most part, and they'll actually put up a pretty good fight as well. Me being the Sky Wars god that I am, you know, I'm still just obviously so much better than literally everyone. Yep, I am definitely better than everyone. Yep. And there's also things like mystery chests in the middle that spawn every couple of minutes that give you really good items out of them. If you were wondering, there's also other ores. There's iron, which gives you arrows and or blocks. There's also redstone, which gives you extra absorption hearts. And then there's also lapis, which can give you spell books, but it's like a one in six chance or something. Say you do get a spell book out of one of those ores, though. I got swiftness, for example. It just gives you a potion effect that you can use. You can also get life books and spells of fire trails. Here's the fire trail, for example. Literally just puts a trail of fire behind you. Alright, so I got a fire sword, and if you hit people with it, it has a 1 in 4 chance of lighting them on fire with each hit. Now he's on fire. Pog. Also, there are boom boxes, which is basically just throwable TNT. It'll explode those guys. Another thing to note is that, compared to other servers as you'll see, Hive has a lot of good gear you'll almost always be fighting in full diamond or mostly diamonds. So I feel like I'm going to be a little bit biased on the Hive, just because, again, this is the server that I play on the most. But I honestly really like Hive Sky Wars. It's a breath of fresh air from most other vanilla and generic Sky Wars game modes. And I think the fact that it's so different and the fact that it's so RNG-based honestly makes it pretty fun. Next up, though, I want to try Lifeboat Sky Wars. It's been a minute since I've played Sky Wars on here, but if I'm being honest, I'm not expecting expecting much from Lifeboat Sky Wars at all. <laughs> right off the bat, the loot distribution, it seems like I'm getting quite a lot of blocks and literally nothing else. I got two helmets, and that's it. I'm still not getting any armor even from middle chest, nice. Okay, a chest plate and a Lytra? You can get an Elytra in this game? Okay. Okay, wait, I want to try this out. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's sick. Wait, it actually, like... <laughs> Potato using fly hacks? Look, I, I'm sorry. I knew I wasn't going to be able to compete with the rest of the Lifeboat Sky Wars player base. I'm sorry, I had to install some hacks for, for this. I, I apologize. I made a severe and continuous lapse in judgment. Alright, let's try again, but this time without using fly hacks. Once again, people are gonna get mad at me, but it's not like the lifeboat player base is anything special in terms of, like, PvP. Both of these players are almost certainly on mobile. I'm gonna do it until I get banned? Okay. Another thing! You guys just saw that! Lifeboat has insane block lag. Like, if you build up, you'll eventually just get sent through a block because the blocks are lagging so badly. Also, again, the PvP on this server is, uh... It's kind of laggy. I hit the guy and he takes knockback like two seconds later. I, I take back what I said about Lifeboat being alright in terms of PvP in the worst Minecraft Bedrock server video. Jesus. What can I even say about that? I mean, like... <laughs> it's so hilariously bad that all you can do is just kind of laugh at it. <laughs> I, I don't have anything else to say. It's just like, yeah, I got kicked by the anti-cheat for using an elytra that's literally in the game on the first game. And just like, in general, the knockback and everything, the lag, the way that the server works, 
It's just garbage. And I feel like everyone knew this already. I mean, everyone knows that Lifeboat is not a good Minecraft server. But I, I don't know. That <laughs> Again, that's just bad to the point where all you can do is laugh at it. Good job, Lifeboat. Okay, so after that, I think we need a little bit of a cleansing with something that's probably just a little bit more vanilla, but at least we know it works well. Let's try out Cubecraft Sky Wars. So, like I said, Cubecraft Sky Wars is a very basic version of Sky Wars. It's just fairly normal loot, fairly normal maps. Nothing's really too out of the ordinary. Now, obviously, simplicity, it can be a good thing, it can be a bad thing. But I think that's what, like, that's why Cubecraft is so popular as a server, and why Skywars is so popular as a game mode on Cubecraft. Literally, if you just want to play vanilla Skywars, this is the server to do it on. Now, like I've said in times past, projectiles on Cubecraft are kinda, are kinda weird. Bows aren't too out of the ordinary. But like I was saying with projectiles earlier, specifically snowballs, they like suck. They literally do nothing. They do no knockback. They're not very useful on this server at all. Okay, so another cool thing about Cubecraft Sky Wars is that crafting actually works, and it works well. Got a door right here. I'll make a pressure plate. Redstone actually works on this server, and it can lead to some pretty wacky traps like I've demonstrated in the past. Now, something you might have noticed about Cubecraft is that a lot of the fights are very, very, very laggy. If you check my ping, my ping's 58 to Cubecraft. A lot of people complain about lag. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, but I think it's just, honestly, a lot of very laggy players play on the server. Honestly, the loot distribution on here, it's pretty normal, it feels like. Sometimes you'll get pretty good loot. Um, it, it seems pretty balanced as I walk off the map. I don't know, all in all, Cubecraft is a very basic experience of Sky Wars. I think it's a better experience than quite a lot of Sky Wars modes that you'll see in this video. Is it something that I want to play a bunch? Not really, because again, I kind of like the Sky Wars game modes that are more wacky, kind of more out there. But there's not really too much bad to say other than, again, sort of like the connection or like the hit registration on it. Now, chat's saying to play Mindplex. I know there are some people that like Mindplex, I know there are some people that dislike Mindplex. Literally two videos ago, we tried out Mindplex, we played Skywars on there, but I want to look at it a little bit more in depth here. So, from prior experience, Mindplex Skywars is honestly very, very similar to Cubecraft Skywars. It's very basic, it's very vanilla. Some people think it's a good thing, some people think it's a bad thing. PvP on, like, on Mineplex, it, honestly, it feels pretty similar to Cubecraft's PvP and, like, Hitreg and everything. The loot, honestly, feels pretty similar, feels pretty vanilla. The player base in terms of PvP skill seems maybe a little bit less sentient than Cubecraft and other servers that we've played on. Once again, projectiles are a little bit wacky, as we've shown before. You throw them, and they just sit in front of your face for about two seconds before they actually throw. I don't know, I feel like there's honestly not too much to say about Mindplex Sky Wars. Like, it's not top tier, but it's also, like, not hilariously bad, like Lifeboat, like Mineville, which we'll see later. Again, like, the, the knockback and stuff on here, it's- I, I know I'm, like, used to, like, Hive and, like, Galaxite. It feels like Mineplex is maybe a little bit worse in terms of, like, hit reg and stuff. Like, you hit someone, and again, it takes, like, a second for knockback to, like, actually happen. But again, it's, like, not as bad as, like, Lifeboat, which we demonstrated earlier. I will say, I like the gear assortment you can get from mid. Once you actually get to mid, you'll- you'll very likely get full diamonds or close to it, which is kind of nice just to be able to, like, actually go and fight and kill people. Like, I now have full diamond. There's not really too much to, like, meme about on here. It's solid, but it's, like, definitely not my first choice to play on. There are definitely other game modes that I like to play more. Speaking of which is one called Rush on Galaxite. So, Rush on Galaxite is obviously quite a lot different from Skywars game modes on other servers. It's kind of like their game mode Kronos and Skywars had a baby. That's kind of what it results in, and you'll see. So, one cool thing about Rush is that you can actually just punch chests and break them, though I don't usually like to do that because it disorganizes your inventory quite a lot. But the obvious reason why Rush is called Rush is because to win the game, you're essentially supposed to rush as fast as possible and gain control 
of the middle area. Like I said, it's very similar to Kronos. You can upgrade stuff using upgrade stations in the middle. Once you have two of the same item, you can go to an upgrade station, armor upgrade here. I have two tier threes right here, as you see. Click on it, now I have one tier four and I can put that on. It seems as though no one's actually really rushed mid here, so I just kind of got everything and I'm going and killing everyone now. But it can get pretty sweaty and intense as seen in the stuff like the Galaxite Summer Blast Tournament that we saw a few months ago. I will say the PvP and stuff on here is a lot more enjoyable in terms of like functionality. Like you hit someone and they actually take knockback within a reasonable amount of time. Now another thing I might actually die doing this that I'm going to demonstrate, if you look down there, you can see that there's actually no void. And you might be asking, Potato, why are you playing this? It's not Skywars, there's no void. Well, you see, if you go down there, you still take damage from something called the Corruption. Then you come back up, you stop taking damage. And the point of it is basically just, if you fall down, you're not going to be instantly out of the game. And I think that's a pretty nice touch on the server, just like being able to like play, but you're like not done if you fall into the void. Also, while there aren't really kits on Galaxite, there are things called loot modifiers and you can use these to, like, modify the loot that everyone has chances to get in the game. Currently, the one that I'm using is called Gear Upgrader. It gives people upgrade tokens, which they can use to upgrade their gear. Also, can we just talk about, like, the cinematics and, like, the how to play that shows up on here? I think that's pretty cool. It's a nice touch. And just also, like, the UI and stuff that you'll see on the server. I think that's really cool. It makes Galaxite look, like, very professional. And I know I've commented about that stuff in the past. All in all, Galaxite's rush... While it's kind of different, it's not like true Skywars, I guess. It's still like a refreshing take on it, and that's what I really like about it. Here's another thing that can show up in loot modifiers. I got a life token, and it's basically like a spell of life in Hive Skywars. Obviously, I need to like take damage for it to work, and I use that, and I'm back at full health again. I think that's a pretty cool loot modifier. And once again, like I said, the PvP and stuff on here, honestly, it works pretty well. I like the PvP. I like how, like, smooth and everything it is. Projectiles are a little bit different on Galaxite as well. Obviously, when you shoot a bow, you'd expect it has a normal arc. Not on Galaxite. This, this stuff just goes straight, pretty much. Like, you have to be aiming basically right at them. Also, there's no fall damage on the server. You jump off, no fall damage whatsoever. Yeah, and snowballs also kind of work a lot like Hive. You throw a snowball, you get them up in the air, combo, easy clap. But yeah, overall, I think... Rush is a really cool game, and like I said earlier, a really cool take on the Skywars game mode. I don't really think that there's too much that I can say that I don't like about Rush. It's just a lot different. Some players may like it, some players might not, but I personally find it really fun. With that being said though, one that, I'll be honest, I don't have that much hope for is Mineville Skywars. Now, like I've shown in previous videos, Mineville isn't really even known for their minigames. Obviously, the stuff you can play is, like, Skyblock Prison, which, again, you have to, like, pay for. There's also, like, High School Roleplay. Mineville City, can you please get off my screen? Loot distribution on here, it's honestly, like, pretty normal. I don't think there's too much that I can really, like, say about it. Like, you open your chest, you get fairly normal gear, I guess, you know. Basic bare-bones gear, but it's, like, everyone's getting that same sort of stuff. There's, like, no wacky enchants. Or anything like that. You're just getting normal Skywars gear. Projectiles are a little bit wacky, but regardless, there's no hit cooldown on this server. So when I, like, actually fight someone, I can just, you know, I can just, like, click, like, 10 CPS and just instantly destroy them like I just did. I have no idea where their loot went. Maybe people's loot just disappears with their death, I guess? Again, you want me to demonstrate no hit cooldown. I... I just three-shot that guy. I don't like butterfly click on someone and just obliterate them instantly. Oh my god! <laughs> this is literally all just CPS. Literally whoever's clicking faster just wins the fights. I don't know, these maps are kind of cool. I like the color on this map. It's cool they have like a, like a background sort of thing. The design, I guess, is cool in this. But the actual, like, how the game works, how the game plays out... I don't really know if it was that well, like, thought out. I don't know, the map design's, like, okay. It's, like, kind of generic Skywars, like, maps. Not too bad, not horrible. I drank my regen potion almost instantly when I right-clicked it. Nice. I just won that game! How fast was that- why was that game- like... Okay. I pretty- I didn't- I speed ran that game without really even intending to. The fights are so fast because there's no hit cooldown, because the gear is kind of sparse while also having- having like, 
iron and diamond swords. I, I said it was balanced at the beginning, but it's really not because, again, the game design is, like, so horrible. You just, like, die instantly to anyone that you fight against because whoever has the highest CPS wins. But obviously, we aren't here to find the worst Hive Sky Wars. We were here to find the best version of Sky Wars. Now I know, call me biased, I I'm sure all of you watching the stream watching the video are surprised. My favorite, and I think the best and most well thought out version of Sky Wars is Hive Sky Wars. However, I will give a close second to Galaxite Rush. Again, while it's not true Sky Wars, it's also really, really fun. But I think just Hive Sky Wars kind of one-ups everything. It's very well thought out, loot's balanced, PvP works well. It's just overall pretty, pretty good. Be sure though to let me know what you think the best Sky Wars game mode is. But if you want to see more content on Hive Sky Wars and specifically their upcoming kits game mode, I made a video on that recently which you can go check out and it just showed up on screen if you want to click it. Regardless, that's gonna be it for this video. Follow my Twitch so you'll know when I do videos like these in the future and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.